What we're going to do for the next several sections is classify bifurcations. We're going to give the simplest types there are, going through them one by one. The first such classic bifurcation is something called a saddle node. These are the simplest types of bifurcations. We've seen them before. And these are characterized by producing equilibria out of nothing. Now we're going to be looking at continuous time systems for some time now. Let's consider the saddle node. The way we're going to do this is through something called a normal form, where by normal form, I mean the simplest instantiation of this bifurcation. So for the saddle node, the normal form is the following dx equals mu plus cx squared, where c is some non-zero constant. Mu is the parameter, x is the variable. Now, this normal form could have higher order terms in it. We could have terms of order x cubed and higher, but we're going to ignore that for the analysis that we are going to do. Okay, so dx equals mu plus cx squared. Where are the equilibria? Set that equal to zero, solve for x. x is plus or minus square root of negative mu divided by c. So clearly, the equilibria depends on mu, depends on c. For stability, what do we do? We take the derivative of the right-hand side. The derivative of mu plus cx squared equals 2 times c times x. Evaluating at the equilibria gives plus or minus 2c times square root of negative mu over c. With all this information in hand, what can we conclude? We can conclude that this system has no equilibria if mu and c have the same sign. But if we change mu so that it goes to zero, then there is precisely one equilibrium at x equals zero. If we keep going and change mu so that it has the opposite sign to c, then we get a pair of equilibria. And from the derivative, we can see that these come in a stable, unstable pair. The derivative is positive for one, negative for the other. Okay, that's the basic analysis of the normal form of the saddle node, but what does this mean? What does this look like? How do we visualize this? And where does this happen? Can, can we see a system where this really shows up? To visualize what's going on, we're going to work in the x versus mu plane and look at the multiverse of all possible systems. In what follows, I've picked a particular value of c, c equals negative 1, and I'm looking at the system dx equals mu minus x squared. We could begin by drawing the vector field for this, where sometimes the vectors are pointed to the left, sometimes they're pointed to the right, sometimes we have the zero vector. This happens precisely at the equilibria, where mu minus x squared equals zero, that is where mu equals x squared. We have this parabolic arc of equilibria in this space of all possible systems. So the way to think about it is this. You choose a value of your parameter mu, and then you stay in that horizontal line. You can pick whatever initial conditions you want and then start flowing, start having them move over time. And what you're going to see is that depending on the value of mu, interesting things happen. When mu is negative, in this case, you're always moving off to the left. dx is always negative. When mu is positive, then you have a pair of equilibria, one stable, one unstable. And precisely at the bifurcation point where mu equals zero and x equals zero, what is happening is this pair of stable and unstable equilibria collide. They crash into each other and annihilate. They're gone. Or if you run it in reverse, they appear out of nowhere when you turn the mu dial. This type of diagram is characteristic of the saddle node bifurcation. You have one branch of stable equilibria, one branch of unstable equilibria that emerge from the bifurcation point in a quadratic fashion. 
Now, if we change the value of c, then this parabola might get wider or skinnier. It might flip upside down, but you're going to have this same phenomena of going from zero equilibria to one equilibrium at the bifurcation point to a stable, unstable pair of equilibria. That's what a saddle node looks like. The thing to remember about saddle node bifurcations, besides the normal form, which you really ought to memorize, is that you have two opposite stability equilibria that collide and annihilate, or the reverse. 